You know, it's funny. Every time something scary would happen in this movie, I would audibly say, nope. And then the characters did. Perfect. <laughs>。Having loved Get Out, but having missed out on Us for now, Jordan Peele is one of the most exciting names in the business of making movies at the moment. Whenever I see his name, I know I'm in for something special. Still the case here. I stayed away from a lot of the marketing outside of the first trailer, and going in, that's all I needed. And in fact, the less you know, the better. The surprises, originality, and borderline satire presented here. Is wildly refreshing. I won't spoil it, but it definitely won't go in the direction you think, and it surprised me by being one of the more epic films this year, and not quite the genre expected of it. It toys with your expectations in a way Jordan Peele is known for. It's shocking, unsettling, gross, funny, and thought-provoking. Peele hired the same cinematographer who shot a bunch of Christopher Nolan films, and this too was shot. In IMAX. Now, I've never been to Southern California, but the dry wasteland-esque open landscapes provided the perfect backdrop for a film essentially about UFOs and humanity's obsession with spectacle. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nope, warrants repeat viewings. I didn't pick up on everything intended, and I read a couple of detailed analyses after to fully grasp what was being said. At a couple points, I wasn't sure I understood, but it turns out I did, and I was left wondering why it wasn't fleshed out more. Upon being reminded of how the film opens, a lot more connected, and the aforementioned obsession for spectacle that other sites have analyzed for me really stands out. Not that I didn't pick up on that, but sometimes you just gotta read for things to make sense. There's more to unpack there, but you'll just have to see for yourself because going into it would be spoiler territory. It is a supremely ambitious film with one too many flaws for it to land as well as it should have. However, the best films in cinema stay with you long after you've watched them, whether through the pure spectacle or the themes evoked. Nope does a bit of both, but often overlooks such moments by rushing through them, masking it as subtlety. Right after watching it, the people I was with all had two of the same complaints, the pacing and the seemingly disconnecting subplots. The first one is so noticeable. The film's 131 minutes, but I couldn't help but think it should have been a 90-ish minute film and it could have still accomplished much of what it told without the excessive fat. The second being that there's a substantial subplot so disconnected from the main story that I empathize with those that simply don't understand the, the connective tissue that is there. Again, it's supposed to be subtle, and I mentioned my theory to my friends that was confirmed by some of those breakdowns online. But I have to ask, how necessary was this to the central plot when so much of the front half is dedicated to the mystery of it for it to be fully resolved midway through and never mentioned again? It's gratuitous and attention grabbing, sure, but is that all? That combined with the ridiculously slow pacing in the first half of the movie really made the film drag out longer than it needed to. All that led to a couple of other problems for me. With the exception of one, the characters aren't given enough attention to be truly likable, relatable, or as believable as they should be. Now by the end, with some of the messaging, believe me, it does work. The characters do have noticeable journeys. But said messaging is often put in front of pronounced character development with just enough done in the first act to help you understand their journey, but not really who they are, not really their motivations, not to the level that we should with what happens later on. Because lots of time is spent discussing issues, it works really well for the lead character OJ, but there could have been more fleshing out of the motivations beyond surface level to really make some of the latter moments hit harder, which calls the pacing really into question. A film feels overlong, but characters feel as their development should have had a tighter focus. But good grief, that last act, especially, is so exhilarating and attention grabbing it more than makes up for it. Is that more important? Ultimately, yes. When viewing a movie as three acts, but objectively as a whole, it does beg the question, is it greater than the sum of its parts? Or do the parts not quite come together as a whole? I can see arguments for either side, even if I land more positive than some will. I respect either opinion. One more positive note, the title, Nope, is hilariously used at multiple points in the film like I mentioned. If you're familiar with common horror movie tropes, you're gonna laugh. We've all laughed at the people who stare at stuff in horror movies instead of running or hiding, or the people that choose to investigate the weird noise outside or linger too long without making a move. More often than not, the stereotype that I'm talking about is the dumb white person in the movie who does these things, and we all joke about it. And yet, the other stereotype is that the black characters tend to die most, or first. Nope has a ton of fun with these moments, being very self-aware of said tropes and the meme culture that's been inspired by them. Bravo on the meta satire, I live for that stuff. 
Note tries to be a bunch of concepts rolled into one, sometimes too many, leading to a bloated runtime and a seemingly scatterbrained narrative. But when you truly engage with the themes, you ponder the opening quote, and the nature of all the events that have transpired when the credits roll, you can feel the intelligence radiating off the screen. The execution is a mix of murky and masterful, but I haven't been able to stop thinking, reading, or dwelling on everything it told. While flawed in the grand scheme of all the movies you've ever watched, how many truly stay with you? And if it does, what does that tell you? Four out of five stars. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment below if you've seen Nope and what you thought about it, or Jordan Peele as a filmmaker. And remember, always look for the good.